Here's the field for the uh, eighth race tonight. Eighth race is a Phillies and Mares condition pace, racing one mile. First two thousand dollars. The one tail tail heart. But William Lilly of Hawkinsville, Georgia. Jim Perry trains. Jim Perry Jr. drives the two pocket edition. Laced and trained by Sherry Myers of South Charleston, handled by Dan Ader. The three noble lays, sold by Gary Mullins of Westerville and Downing of Columbus, sold in Lundford trains, Eric Lundford drives. The four key of life, over the Brittany Farms of the Sales Kentucky, Ellen Regal trains for Don Irvin Jr. The five horses aim too high, sold by Jeff Dodden of Canal Winchester and Ralph Aronson of Columbus, Virgil Morgan Jr. trains, Brent Holland in the bike. Number six, Brian's Little Girl. By Brian Magoya of New Jersey and uh, John Magoya of Howell, New Jersey. Terry Thomas, the trainer, Dave Hawka. Seven, Johanna. Well, by Bob Griffith, the Robert Burns trains, Hugh Beatty Jr. in the bike. And the eight horse, Elmerhurst of Valkyrie. Well, by Michael Colvin, Ron Love, and Thomas Colvin of Ohio, trained and driven by Chad Norman. Win play show perfecta and uh, trifecta wagering. Eight minutes until post. Eighth race. Phillies and Mares with them behind the gate. Gates on the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Noble Lace. First to lead for the lead. Pocket edition alongside, getting away second. Aim too high, floats away third. Tail, tail, heart from off the pylons fourth. Johanna to the outside is fifth. Into the pocket sixth comes Key of Life. Angling in seventh, Bryant, the little girl of the trailer as the gray Elmerhurst Valkyrie around the first turn. On the outside, Noble Lace strung out to the first quarter at the rail. As they reach the first quarter mile marker, that's Aim Too High who is parked to the first quarter. First stop in 28 and two, and Aim Too High now has a three length advantage over Noble Lace who races second. Pocket edition at the middle third, and it's a gap of three lengths. Telltale Heart, two lengths fourth to the uh, two year old Key of Life. Moving to the stretch, and Almahurst Valkyrie is now sent from off the back end. Uh, she gets underway. Racing fifth at the rail, and now seventh is Johanna, the uh, trailer eighth. Brian's little girl, they reach the half in 59 and one. And that's aimed too high. Showing the way here, aimed too high. Odds on favored by two, two and a half. Inside a second, it's Noble Lace. Pocket edition at the well is third, and the gray Elmerhurst Valkyrie is moving steadily now to the outside. She's fourth. At the red and five, Telltale Heart inside sixth is Key of Life. Alongside seventh, Johanna. Race to get out of the final turn, and on the outside, here comes Pocket Edition. Pocket Edition looking the leader in the eye and takes that lead. Three quarters, 128 and four. And Pocket Edition up by a head over aimed at too high. Aim too high, coming right back of the inside, and these two dig in for the stretch battle. Aim too high of the inside, pocket edition of the outside. Noble Lace now comes into the picture, down of the inside, and three of them are going at it here. Aim to too high, pocket edition, and Noble Lace is coming with every stride. Here's the wire. That's too close. In 150, 7 and 1. Jerry Cal to the grandstand office, please. Tracks out is the official winner, number three, Noble Lace. Daughter of Noble and Sam from the Billy Darkmare, Woe Darts and Lace. Sold by Gary Mullins of Westerville and Downing of Columbus. Southern Lundford trains Eric Lundford in the Sulky. Noble Lace, one big final surge in deep stretch, gets the job done here. Her second start of the season, her second win of the season, and that is her second consecutive career mark, 157 and to one fifth. The eighth race trophy by Homewood Corporation. Eighth race, sort of finish. Telltale Heart, six. Pocket Edition, three. Noble Lace, the winner. Key of Life, four. Aimed at too high, two. Brian's Little Girl, seven. Johanna, five. Almahurst Valkyrie, eight.